Welcome back to a new video and everyone. I'll try and keep this short and sweet for you today. So I've gone ahead and built a couple of structures to try and help you survive storms and try and mitigate the repair time you've got to do on your build. Let's start off with some basics first. If you are struggling in a storm and you get caught short, you can always dig a hole inside a rock and simply hide in it. This will stop all of the weather damage to you and it'll disappear if you hide in a rock. It sounds stupid, but that's a thing. So let's just assume you're a new player and you just unlocked wood and you're taking a lot of wood damage and you're having to repair a lot. You're still going to have to repair a lot with this build, but it might aid you a little bit. You'll see these little overhangs here and here. So what this does is, let's just for example say these two here. With having these overhangs here, these will protect these squares here. They've only gotten damaged because these actually did get blown off in a severe storm. So these started taking damage. So don't worry too much about that. These overhangs will protect all of these blocks here. But if these were to be destroyed, these would start taking damage. That goes for these as well. These little overhangs here protect all of these blocks here and down below. Same as, same as on this side. Again... These have all been destroyed and I've only just replaced them, hence why these walls have got a little bit of damage. I just haven't been bothered to repair them. Again, we've got the front identical, so it's carbon copy of each side and these will protect the front of here, these overhangs here. So to get these overhangs, it's really simple. You're going to go into your tech tree, all the way along the tier 1 and you'll be able to unlock these roof corners here. And these wood half pieces here once you've got them you can create these but if you don't have the blueprint points to unlock them you can just use the wooden ramps on the front and they work just the same but to have this effect on the side to protect these blocks here you do need the wooden half pieces you are still going to take a significant amount of damage by doing this as well there's no way out of it you're going to still have to repair but Having these additional little overhangs may just save your base. As you can see for the wood, I've also built two pylons. Seven pillars high each side. As you've got more chance of protecting your base. Your wooden base that is. From thunder and lightning. And they've got more chance of striking these pillars here. Okay, so let's now assume you're in tier 2 and you can craft stone. So you can either go with stone roofs again. Or you can go with these kind of roofs for the overhang for the front so as you can see here i've buried the roofs into the ground and led up to the top so it's like a triangle and on either side i've got the same kind of design overhang which is going to protect the entire front of this wood so it won't take any damage and i've got a little bit of stone here for additional support this will not take as much damage as what wood does as stone takes a bit more of a battering and what wood can again to unlock these pieces here you'll have to go all the way to the end of tier 2 stone roof corner and you can unlock them there as you can see we've got these overhangs here protecting both back and front and you've got no sides to worry about this time to continuously keep on repairing as the stone can take a significant bigger beating in the weather so let's go on inside and this is what it looks like so you can put your fireplace in here if you like. It'll be absolutely fine. And crafting benches. This can easily be scaled up as well. So you can go lengthways. Come forward if you like. This is an easy little tier 2 base to get you started. And it'll give you significant more protection as you start leveling up your base. The repair time will be significantly lower on this. As the stone does have a hell of a lot more HP than wood. You don't have to worry as much as you would do with a wooden base. This is a direct upgrade from this design by the way as you can see but these sides just get fanned out an extra block so you can get additional protection and you don't have to worry about repairing the sides as much. And once you get the tier 4 standard this base isn't finished yet uh, for the roof upgrade but as you can see I've got overhangs here like I've been showing you on the other structures. These will all be upgraded as well so it protects all of the blocks. Now, once you, when you do have overhangs like this, as long as your overhangs are concrete at the end of the day, you can still have a stone structure underneath as long as you have an overhang facing that 
segment of the wall. So for example, the overhang is here, this is all protected, so all of this could technically be stone or wood. This isn't protected, but that's, that's concrete anyways, but this is stone, so this will take damage. As you can see, this has got overhang here, so all of this is protected, and still got some stone roof here, but starting to get a concrete roof here, so all of that will eventually be protected. But this is exposed here, there's stone, so this will take damage unless I put an overhang there. And same goes for here. This stone up here will take damage, but it's creating an overhang at the minute, and it is protecting all of this glass. Okay guys, so I've tried to keep this brief as things are still fluent with this at the minute, as the devs have acknowledged it, and they are going to do some changes, I believe, um, from comments that I've seen on discord so the devs are going to look at it once they return back to the office on monday hence why i haven't gone too in depth of this just try to give you enough information regarding the overhangs and some basic designs that might help you to tide you over for the time being so like i say is once you get to tier two and you're able to do stone i'd highly recommend you doing a some a structure like this so it's going to take a lot of the repairing burden off you it's not ideal guys but at least it's something to try and help you out a little bit you want to you want to get in the habit of using overhangs anyways on your builds as it does protect you a lot even before this update thanks for watching and i'll see you all again very soon